Welcome back to Infested Planet. We're going to dive right back into the plot. Second to last plot mission is Periopsis, which I think is my favorite mission of the entire story mode. This should be a lot of fun. Now, before we get to it, of course, I want to note that we only have one more plot mission than after this, but quite a few randoms. It's actually going to be nine of the last ten missions we're going to go through will be random maps, so it's going to be quite some time before we return to the plot after this. But first things first. Dr. Cassandra's up. We have got a single shot at destroying the alien mind. It has consumed human DNA. That should make it vulnerable to our bioweapons. I will whip up a nasty crossbreed of Ebola and anthrax in my lap. So we're going full mad scientist now, are we, Dr. Cassandra? If we hit the giant hive quickly, before it can evolve antibodies, we may be able to kill it for good. There is a catch, though. I need a pure clone strain to experiment on. The first clone. Yep, definitely. Definitely full bad scientist. No question about it. I found it, but I'm afraid that you won't like what it is. Or perhaps who it is. Recognize this fun fellow? He seems to be a little worse for the wear since last we saw him in Memento Mori. Screams from the deep. Lovely. And I declared that the dead who had already died, would that be opposed to the dead who haven't died, are happier than the living who are still alive. Boy, the statements here are just utterly profound. But better than both is the one who has never been born, who has not seen the evil that is done under the sun. When I bring your body to the harvester, I can finally rest. Come closer. I tire of the hunt. So apparently now we're going to find out if General Magnuson was a greater threat to us as our leader than he is as our enemy. I'm going to say that's going to be a pretty close call. We start over here on the east. Got a few army bunkers. They're going to spawn out army marines that are going to attack this way and then from here this way, from here up along the top. Three main pathways of the map. We've got turrets that we simply have to use where they are. And Dr. Cassander is going to be a non-participant. Not even going to provide moral support unless we start having our bunkers take damage, in which case she'll whine at us to come back and defend them. But otherwise, she's just there. Our secondary achievement for this map is Bunker Benefactor, keeping all of these intact. Then as we move forward, our Marines are not going to be able to get very far on their own. They will need our support. There's a variety of obstacles. We've got Infested Flat Cannon, this cluster of hives is going to be interesting to deal with when we want to decide to take that on and how. We've got infested shield here. Proto hives, there are some more crates we can grab as well. Turrets infested against us, and then more proto hives. Guardian nest, there's a mimic egg structure back here. And then once we get to this end, sort of symmetrical because they have their own bunkers, infested bunkers, which they are going to send out clone troops in the exact opposite path to oppose our marines. So the clash is all over the map happening there throughout the mission. And then we have the departed general. Some people noticed on Memento Mori that it seemed the harvester was really manipulating him effectively despite his boast that war is intellect. Um, he seemed to be intellectually lacking. And we can see what the Harvester's plan is now. To essentially capture, harvest, clone, however you want to think of it, the general, and then use him as his greatest servant to fight against us. He's definitely our biggest obstacle in this map. It's much like the whole situation with Kerrigan in the original StarCraft game. Now it's worth noting, kill bunkers to weaken the general. That's the second purpose that these serve. And they boost him or power him give him protection, however you want to think of it. We definitely don't want to take him on without doing that. It might be possible to knock him out without getting rid of all the bunkers, but practically speaking, he's formidable enough without trying to do it that way. And that would just make that fight worse. Not worth attempting. So I really enjoy about this map the fact that it's pretty much challenging from beginning to end. But what the challenge is tends to switch quite a bit as we move forward. And then we've got the Marines to coordinate with in our early attacks, especially. So it's sort of no rest for you as you're going through this, just methodically working our way through the mission. Yes, sir. 
I'm gonna grab an officer here, sacrificing one Marine for the moment to do it. And I want you to grab this crate, and then I want to put a minefield up here around the corner. The point of that being, as this protohive spews out enemies, which it's going to do, I don't want them to be able to come unmolested around this corner and hit our bunker. And then now we have enough BPs, we can grab another Marine. They have enraged here. That's the end of our first attack. Let's get rid of these clone troopers before they get too far here. Okay. Now with them gone, I want to wheel around this direction and hit this hive before more clone troopers show up. Of course, the ones up here, still going to have to deal with. And here comes another wave of Marines for us to oppose them. So... That will simply continue happening as we move forward. But we've got a few Marines left. Should be able to bash through this. And that's our first point capture. We have a reward and we have spore mines coming our way. I want to build up a shotgunner here. The point of that being, you can defend this bunker from being totally overrun and recaptured by the enemy in between waves of marines coming this direction. Everybody else will come back with me. Hey look, it's more clone troops. Imagine that. And our next wave of Marines, so we want to go on the attack again. I'm going to take our officer back down to Rifleman. So I can get a couple of shotgunners here. I'm going to try to attack up this way to stay away from the Proto Hive as much as possible. And then we'll hit another chopper strike. You out. And that should pretty much take care of that. Move forward, fellas. Now we've got, yeah, these turrets coming back up. So that's no fun. Clone troopers coming in, delaying us. Oh, look, another turret coming back up. But we have still captured this, and yay, enraged coming our way. But it appears that we have now secured this situation. Let's get a flamer. We're going to go after this. There we go. This is down. Clone troopers, but more marines coming up to help out the situation. There we go. So that's... Once all these enraged burn themselves out over here, there's not going to be any more of them. And we can withdraw. Let's go ahead and grab these crates. Pull them back. We don't need this anymore. And our flamer, you're going to become an officer for a minute. Because I want you to go back and build engineering. This infested flat cannon is tearing up any attempts we make to advance. We're holding them off so far. But I want that to go away. And it was supported by the hive that was here. So now that that hive is gone, I can make this gone. move you up a little bit so you're actually halfway doing something. There we go. Those enraged are now used up. Okay. That's no longer a problem. So we're going to add robotics then to our fun. And you can come back up. I also want to put a minefield over here just for a little bit of extra protection. That way I can be sure that this bunker is not going to get overrun. Waiting for this to come back up and give us our robotics. And I'm hoping then between that and the Marines, this area will be secure at least for a while. 
then I'll move over to this path. And it might be a bit soon, but I'm going to go on the attack here. Since we have more Marines coming in, let's give that a double shot. There we go. Join in, please. All right, let's get rid of you. Get out of the hive spit. Get out of the hive spit, please. Come on, knock it out. Well, we lost a good amount of troops there. That could have gone a little better, but it's still going to be okay. We capture this. Okay, now they have counterattack, but I'm going to build up a turret here, and let's just get everybody over here. More cloners coming in, but numbers and time eventually on our side. That turret will come back up. The counterattack isn't going to last forever. We're going to gradually wear these down. We've got enough for another strike. Okay, let's get out of that. And another hive falls to humanity. Okay. Let's get rid of you. So the point here is that with these two bunkers, both having robotics, plus the Marines, this is going to be a secure choke point for us. And we can just now run away. We're getting hit pretty good over here. But we can go help them out. And we also have Brute Guard as the latest mutation. So I want to add grenades to fight better against that. Then this officer is going to go back down to a rifleman. So are you. And I'm just going to spawn more marines so we have more grenades. And with that, counterattack is slowed down. It's time to hit our next target. I think I want to focus on these side areas where they're going to spawn out troops. There we go. Notice more Marines coming in, more clones. I mean, just the intensity of this fight continuing to grow. You're down. Let's see about knocking some of you out. Yeah. More losses, but far more losses for the enemy than for us. Tower Spawner. We're now going to need to worry about that, and it's going to be coming this way. May want to provide some help over there. In the meantime, officer, would you grab us these crates, please? And more of you coming out. Joyful. Okay. So we're going to hit you Roger that. with that. I'm going to watch this because we can. it's far enough away that if we have trouble here, I can just run my troops back there. But I'm going to see if a tower or a chopper strike plus my gradual marines coming up is enough. Probably won't be, to be honest. Okay, so we've sort of got this in hand. I'm going to take our officer, make you a flamer, and I want to knock this shield out because it's just preventing us from really effectively attacking any enemies in this area. There we go. Back up. Alright. And I'd like to knock this out, but how is this going over here? Yeah, not very well. Okay. So I'm going to sell off a rifleman. Grab an officer. I'm just going to wait for everybody to come back up, and we're just going to take a bit of a diversion. Get rid of you. Yeah, okay. You're now everybody is retreating to your home. That's just fine. And let's go around this way and just clean up the mess. And Marines actually might get through this, but let's make sure they do. Let's not leave any loose ends. There we go. 
Back we go. Now I can handle the Guardians. All of this going just fine up here. The only thing we're losing up there is Army Marines. And we're going to knock out these. Give a chopper strike along with it. You're being annoying. Get rid of you. And you. Okay, and now another tower spawner here, so we need to knock out this shield. And we'll come back out and get rid of all of this fun. Okay. Now we don't really want to press the attack over here on the bunkers because that will just irritate the general. He'll come out and, and fight in this area. So that's why I'm not sort of supporting that advance any further. Increasing flow, of course, coming out of these areas in terms of grubs. We're doing okay for now. What I want to do next, I'm just going to leave a shotgunner here. And everybody else, come with me. I want to pick up some more resources over in this way and also lower some of what they're doing. It's an interesting opportunity to use mortar, I think, which I don't use often. Okay, and I want you to hit this. I don't know how long I can get away with it for, but I'm going to actually pull up the grenades so that we are not reducing our ammunition income. Then we're gonna grab this. There we go. You're down. I'll put the grenades back up. And I'm also going to grab ammo supply, which I want for my next big attack. Gonna wait for all of you to go by. Okay, there's gonna be another tower spawner coming this way. We're in the right place. That's for sure. I'm waiting for all these clones to go through, and then I'm gonna run you over this way. See if I can get you to grab this and come back without dying. I don't know if that will actually happen. Slide you back a bit. All right, let's get in here and knock out all of this. Let's not mess around with it. There we go. And how's our officer doing? Here's our officer made it. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to do over there for the moment. Get us some extra resources. Let's, okay, that shield just went down, good. And now I want to wait for us to have full ammunition, and then we can hit this. The point of which is this shield goes down permanently, and it gives us a foothold for this big area. This is really, in my opinion, the key moment of the map, the one that's most easy to screw up. I want a flamer, I want an officer, I don't want anybody else, so that I can have maximum amount of marines. Okay, we're full. I don't see any reason to delay. I don't see any imminent tower spawner, although that will happen. We'll need to watch for that. But meanwhile, in we go. Whatever we lose, my goal is to knock out this hunt. Now get in there and take it over. Get in there now. Okay. Then we just need to try to hold off as much as we can while this builds. We can get another soldier. And okay, we have a tower spawner coming. Where's it going? It's going to come down this way. 
So we're going to need to be prepared to help with that situation. I'm going to need to probably teleport a few Marines over there and use a chopper strike. Which is going to limit how much I can do here. But if I'm careful, it should be viable. Okay. So, where are we at? You're coming. I'm going to need people over there soon. I'm going to grab three Marines. And hope that's enough. And I'm going to teleport you here. And then we'll hit this with one chopper strike when it is destroyed. And we're just sort of cycling through people over here. Just surviving but not doing a whole lot more than that. Okay. There we go. That's you. Let's see how this works. I'm not going to worry about the other area until I'm sure this is secure. Okay. That's fine. Good. Now, everybody, make your way then back here. And now, we're going to hit this. We're done playing around. We're going to expand. And there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Get, get out of the... Get out of that as much as you can. Bingo. There goes down another hive. Clear out the mess. Okay. They got proto hives. They have rust. I'm never really using a bunch of turrets to attack in this one because of their brute guard. Those barriers would cause us problems anyway. But we're doing okay here for now. They're going to be spawning something new right by us, which is fine. We just keep moving on with the attack. We can even add another Marine at this stage. And, all right, let's get you out of here. But even more Marines coming up from our bunker below. And this is all looking excellent. Okay. They have regeneration now. We're going to start to come under... Yeah, this is going to be a problem. We need to secure that a little bit more. And they have more fun coming this way. Okay. But we're now secure enough to be able to deal with all of that. I'm going to send one shotgunner. Just teleport you to get you there quickly. Then I'll send a couple of riflemen back over here. We're going to start distributing our force some so that we can handle whatever happens. We have one chopper strike that we can use here. And we'll do that. And hope that that will suffice. Now this area is secure. Let's see, where is my... There's my officer. I want you to grab crates. And I'm also going to keep one soldier over here with you. But I'm not sure I need a flamer. I'll make you a shotgunner. And then we're just going to sort of run off in this direction. Okay, let, let's knock you out. How are we doing over here? They've got a proto-hive. We're fine otherwise. We'll come over there and handle that in a minute. So, we're sort of running around putting out fires, but we are definitely progressing. They're going to have plenty of Marines to head forward here. This, with a supporting shotgunner, this whole area should be just dandy. Before I start knocking out the bunkers, though, I do want to clean up this area. That's looking like it's the most dangerous one to me. So, let's progress through. We're holding off in that direction. Let's go ahead and hit you with a chopper strike. And then we should be able to power through this eventually.
And notice the number of clones that we're seeing has increased. Apparently the general is irritated with us and doesn't like us blowing up everything that he has put in place. I wonder why that is. Yeah, but the, this turret is starting to annoy me. But I'm going to kind of ignore that for now, actually. We're just going to press in here. Yeah, we can get out of its range. Let's just slide around the corner. There we go. And then you can come up this way. Okay, more imminent attacks. Something's going to be coming this way, but also one up here. I'm going to focus on this. You're still not dead? Really? Okay. Now we've had just about enough of your nonsense over here. And we're going to get rid of it. Yeah, spawn another proto hive, see if I care. You're down. Move forward. Nope. Move forward now. Move. For get out of the stupid hive pit. Thank you. Okay. Now what do they have? Brute spawn. Glorious. And over here, it looks like they have a few towers, but we're holding on okay. So I think the time has come. We can always shift forces if we need to. But I think the time has come to knock out their bunkers. So on we go. I have seen the face of God. Can you say the same? You know what? I don't think you actually have. I don't believe you. Go figure. Officer, go grab all of these. And then I want to retreat from this point. I don't want to send... Okay, yep. I actually grabbed you when I didn't mean to. But I don't want to push any further. These bunkers are going to give us more resources, and that's really all I want at this point. Okay, you've got tower spawn. Let's go ahead and knock out all of you. Or maybe not. We're going to retreat because of our good friend... Neither good nor friend. The general call. Okay, and now now he's going to retreat back. And we can try to push forward. This is all still working okay. Alright. I just want to get rid of the extra towers they built up over here, but that's all I really care about at this stage. Now let's get rid of that one. That's good enough for me. Back off back off. All right. We've got lots now of resources. And we're going to need them. I'm going to put a shotgunner here. We're going to keep a permanent flamer. And I don't think I would mind having a sniper. And I'd like a mini gunner too, of course. I'm going to do my usual distribution, but not just yet. Let's come around over this way. This is still okay. Yeah, that's still okay. We're going to jump on this area now. Let's make the second bunker go away. And it wouldn't hurt to get rid of that proto-hive while we're here. Ignore that creature's transmissions, Commander. It is just a meat puppet for its master. Okay, now we'll back off again. And our officer can do more retrieval duty while our Marines try to press forward and probably get shot by the General if it decides to show up again. Oh, the General decided it wanted to make its presence felt over here. Oops. Okay. 
Well, we've got a mess to go clean up. Let's do that. And they're about to gain that point back, but they're not going to keep it. I figured he'd be more irritated about the bunker that we were attacking, but apparently that wasn't the case. There we go. You can go back here. The rest of you return this way. And we have grabbed our additional toys. So let's see. You can become my mini gunner. And we have one more to knock out. The general is back here. At least in theory, we might be able to hold that with what we have in place. Let's see. What do we have coming our way? I think maybe we hold out over here and... Yeah, we've got a couple friends coming this way. Let's just make sure that they are dealt with. Throw in a free chopper strike just because we can. Doggone it. You're back. Oh, and you're actually taking damage now, even though one bunker is still intact. So it is possible to deal with you, I guess, before we do that. But we're not going to care. We're going to back off. There we go. You're retreating. Get rid of some more of these towers. I don't want them to cluster up like this. Alright, that's enough. And Proto Hive is over here. Okay. Let's hit you a couple times and see if that's enough to eliminate you. If not, we'll go over there and we'll help. Meanwhile, we're going to swing through this path. Yep, Proto Hive down. Good. Look at all of those clone troopers. They are not even joking around at this point. Of course, neither are we. So. That Proto Hive is down. Third bunker. Let's go. Bloody hells, woman. I step away for a few days, and here you are killing your commanding officer. Need a hand? It's Drake again. Our boss decided to come back and play. Isn't that cute? Alright, so we're going to grab all of these. Meanwhile, everybody else is going to come over here. Deal with whatever's coming up this way. Okay, yep, they've they've decided it's a fun idea to attack over there. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to come through here and then swing up that way. I think it's time to knock out the general clone. Because they don't have anything left to protect him with. So if we can't handle him now, we're never going to be able to. Gradually bash our way through all of this. Let's go ahead and, and maybe do something like that. Okay, you're actually retreating now. Interesting, you retreated while you were winning over there. Whatever. Let's push our way up through this way then. Okay. Let's make sure this area gets clean. Since they've given us a path to do that. We're going to grab another Marine. Because we can. No other reason, really.
And here's Drake, who's just sort of sitting there. They've got some Marines that are just sitting here defending. I guess I don't need that anymore. So that could be useful. And then let's see. This group. I mean, another shotgunner couldn't hurt. But there it is. He is, whichever. Let's see if we can knock out some of you. Magnuson was a pompous prick, but even he didn't deserve that. Well, you know, he probably didn't deserve it, but I'm glad that he is gone. Sort of a fate worse than death scenario. But I think it's safe to say the galaxy is better off without Magnuson or his clone. And now... Okay, not quite enough. Everybody join in. From whatever corner you hail from, blast the final stronghold. And that's a victory. Periopsis has been completed. 31,000 aliens, over 100,000 bullets fired, and most importantly, one dead general clone. We don't have to see his face again, ever. Another 80,000. What do we have? Nothing new. We have teleporter, scout, and siege cannon. I'm going to go with the scout. And then, it appears, unless they have more toys coming for us later, I think this is all of them, that there's only going to be the two remaining. So when Infested Planet returns, we're going to be diving in then to some of the randoms, as I've mentioned, but eventually we will return for the finale of the plot. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.